On Thursday, November 2, The Young and the Restless promises an eventful episode with several intriguing developments. The day is particularly significant for Christine Blair as she takes time to reflect on the end of her marriage to Paul Williams and contemplates her future. Simultaneously, the episode serves as a 40th anniversary tribute show for Laura Lee Bell, who plays Christine, promising viewers a trip down memory lane with memorable flashbacks from her history on the show. However, the episode isn't all about reminiscing. It also offers new and tense scenes, especially when Christine and Phyllis cross paths in the park. Phyllis, portrayed by Michelle Stafford, manages to stoke the fires and rekindle her rivalry with Christine. This encounter reminds both women of their deep-seated animosity towards each other. Christine, not one to mince words, expresses her strong disapproval of Phyllis growing closer to Danny Romilotti. She might accuse Phyllis of pretending to have changed and taking advantage of Danny's kindness. Following this heated confrontation, Christine seeks solace in a meeting with Lauren Fenmore Baldwin. They discuss her issues with Paul now that their divorce is a certainty. Danny Romilotti, portrayed by Michael Damien, also makes an appearance in the special episode to offer comfort to Christine in the wake of her failed romance. While Christine may not be ready to jump back into a relationship with Danny, the thought of a potential reunion with him may cross her mind. For now, Danny proves himself to be a supportive friend, there to lend a listening ear and a shoulder to lean on. Christine's day takes another surprising turn when she visits Crimson Lights and encounters a familiar face. Trisha Cast returns to the show in her role as Nina Webster, contributing to the celebration of Laura Lee Bell's 40th anniversary on the series. Nina is not only Christine's best friend but also an excellent listener. She serves as a trusted sounding board for Cricket, as they catch up on the latest developments in Christine's life. Nina provides guidance and advice, giving viewers a glimpse of what might be in store for Christine as she embarks on the next chapter of her journey. As the episode unfolds, fans can anticipate more intriguing developments, building on the rich history and relationships that have defined the young and the restless over the years. Today's next news. In the latest episode of The Young and the Restless, which aired on November 1, several intriguing developments unfolded as the lives of Genoa City residents took center stage. Let's dive into the details of this eventful episode in a comprehensive retelling. The episode kicks off with Chelsea Lawson's unexpected return to Genoa City, where she surprises Billy Abbott. Their reunion is warm, marked by a passionate kiss, and the couple discusses the need to address some Marchetti-related issues. Billy learns about the ongoing conflicts between Summer Newman and Chloe Mitchell before they both head to the local coffee house. During their coffee house conversation, Chelsea fills Billy in on the latest updates about Connor Newman. The good news is that Connor is doing exceptionally well at his new school and has transitioned to living in the dorms. Chelsea also shares that Connor has given her his blessing to spend more time in Genoa City by discontinuing her remote work. Since he only gets to see his mother on weekends due to the boarding school arrangement, it's a welcome change. As the evening unfolds, Billy opens up to Chelsea about Tucker McCall's schemes and expresses concerns about Kyle Abbott potentially coming after his job at the family company. He's anxious about Jack Abbott's judgment but remains determined to do everything in his power to secure his position. At Society, Mariah Copeland catches up with Kyle and discusses Aria Porter Copeland's upcoming appointment to get her new hearing aids. Mariah expresses her fears that the hearing aids might not work, but Kyle remains optimistic, suggesting that they should explore other options if needed. Kyle also confides in Mariah about his desire to return to the co-CEO position at Jabot. Mariah, however, grows concerned about Kyle's intentions and his potential efforts to oust Billy from his role. 
Despite Kyle's assurance that he's not actively trying to undermine Billy, he exudes confidence in achieving his desired outcome. After Mariah's departure, Billy confronts Kyle, revealing that he is aware of Kyle's ulterior motives. He insists on addressing the issue head-on, aiming to clear the air and resolve the matter once and for all. In a different setting, at their workplace, Chloe shows Summer some preliminary sketches for the spring line. However, Summer is far from pleased with the designs and believes that they should start from scratch. Chloe defends the sketches, explaining that they can be further developed, drawing on her experience as well as Chelsea's. Summer, however, interprets this as an implication of her lacking fashion knowledge. She asserts her authority as the one in charge of Marchetti, emphasizing the need to meet the expectations of Marchetti customers who are seeking a specific style, especially since sales have been on the decline. Chloe suspects that Summer is determined to prove herself, now that she's overseeing Marchetti without Kyle's involvement. Tensions escalate as Summer dismisses the designs and abruptly ends the meeting. Chelsea learns of the heated exchange from Chloe, who vents her frustration about Summer's challenging and unyielding nature. Chloe seeks Chelsea's assistance in calming Summer down and persuading her to trust their judgment. In Sally Spectra's bed, Adam Newman awakens to a text from Nate Hastings, inquiring about his attendance at work. Realizing how late it is, Adam hurriedly dresses just as Sally wakes up. Both Adam and Sally agree that they have no regrets about the events of the previous night. However, Sally admits that she needs some time to process everything that transpired. In Victor Newman's office, Nick Newman brings in Victoria Newman to confront their father regarding his pretense of mental decline and his insinuations of exploitation. Victor feigns ignorance, prompting Nick to inform Victor that he's aware of the trap, the drawing, and the contents of their previous conversation. Victor remains cryptic, insisting that he doesn't understand their accusations and portraying his children as trying to deceive him. Nate Hastings arrives, and Victor asserts his trust in Nate, opting to leave with him privately. In the park, Victor questions their location, but Nate reminds him that this is where Victor wanted to be. Victor expresses frustration about his alternating clarity and confusion. Nate reassures Victor that they will get to the bottom of his condition. Victor laments his inability to trust his children, believing that he raised them to be as ruthless as he is. Nate argues that this does not apply to their father and the current situation, but Victor disagrees, condemning his children as monsters of his own creation. Victor accuses Victoria and Adam of plotting against him, declaring his intention to fire their asses and leaving Nate with a worried expression. At the Genoa City Athletic Club, Victoria and Nick spot Adam as he descends the staircase. Nick questions whether Adam has pitched another offer to Sally in her suite and expresses his frustration with his brother's persistent interest in her. Adam diverts the conversation to Victor's issues, disclosing that he reached out to a professional for help. Victoria is annoyed at Adam's unilateral decision, and both siblings refuse to accept Adam's assistance since Victor doesn't trust him. Nonetheless, Adam asserts his identity as Victor's child and plans to take action, regardless of their objections. Adam proceeds to contact Dr. Skelton and arranges a meeting for later, coinciding with his planned drinks with Victor. Back with Nick and Victoria, they deliberate on the possible explanations for Victor's behavior. Victoria notes that Victor may either genuinely have mental problems but lied to prevent Nick from further investigation, or he might be feigning his condition to set a new trap, primarily aimed at her. In a tense atmosphere, Victoria suspects that this trap is directed at her, implying that Victor may have reservations about her loyalty and trustworthiness. The episode concludes with Victor continuing to play mind games, leaving viewers eager to witness the ongoing turmoil within the Newman family. 
The Young and the Restless promises further dramatic twists and turns, with secrets, schemes, and family dynamics taking center stage in the lives of Genoa City's residents. Stay tuned for more exciting developments in the next episodes of this beloved soap opera. Thanks for watching this videos, please hit the subscribe button for more updated news.